Hey there folks, got a new knife for you. What I have here is a new model created by VI Knives, Victor Barajas. Uh, it's called the Stonehead. If you guys don't know who Victor is, Victor is the brother of Edison Barajas, who is more commonly known in the knife community as Sharknico. So this is uh, his brother, uh, Victor, who also is a knife maker. And uh, if you don't follow him on Instagram, I think you should. Uh, Victor is another knife maker that's up and coming. That's uh, one knife maker to watch. Um, so he was kind enough to send me his new model, the Stonehead. And uh, I want to share it with you guys, just for you guys to check out. All right, let's get to it. So again, this is the Stonehead. And I'll explain in a little bit why it's called the Stonehead. It's actually uh, pretty cool how he came up with a name. All right, let's just do some specs on it. Yes, right away, you might have noticed the sculpted pocket clip is zirconium. Very nice. A little background on the pocket clip. What does that look like to you guys? Yeah, looks like a necktie. So if you look at Victor's other models, you'll see the sculpted uh, necktie clip. Uh, on this particular model, this is what he calls the skinnier tie. Skinny ties. If you guys are into uh, business attire, especially, especially you hipsters with the skinny ties, this is fashion modeled after the skinny tie. Um, <clears throat> Victor told me that uh, the only time he really gets dressed up is when he goes to mass and uh, he got uh, inspired to do pocket clips and the shape of a necktie, very similar to his brother Edison, who does the shark or fish-like uh, pocket clip. But it's pretty. But what he did tell me is that this one's the skinnier clip. On his other models, they might be the regular conventional tie where they're a little bit thicker. But it is fully sculpted zirconium. Polish on a high grit. Give you that high polish, very nice. Excellent. The handles, it is a liner lock. The handles, this is beautiful. Silver, silver lightning strike carbon fiber. I mean, just, just gorgeous. Just really well done. You can see the finish on it is flawless. I don't know if you guys, I am a fan of uh, lightning strike carbon fiber. You know what's weird? The Edison, the, the Barajas bro brothers seem to, they don't seem to have a shortage of like materials. Like right now, everyone has a shortage of uh, lightning strike carbon fiber. You guys in the knife community that follow the knife makers, you know they're having a difficult time finding this. Uh, what else are they having difficulty finding? The linen, the linen white my, white linen micarta. The Barajas Brothers has all this. I don't know if they they stored it and bought it and just kept it in stock, but they seem to have a lot of the materials that are very coveted right now that are in demand. So this one is silver lightning strike carbon fiber. You can see that the little wires are silver, just beautiful. Nicely contoured by Victor. He's got this floating backspacer, which is also zirconium. He's been doing this a lot to his uh, folders, his flippers. It's very nice. Doesn't end there, folks. The pivot collar. You can see it's it's a ring around the pivot there. It's also zirconium. That's pretty much standard for uh, the quality. The attention to detail that the Barajas brothers does do. And Victor doesn't do too much different from his uh, brother Edison. They both have the same fitting uh, finish and quality that you would expect from the Barras brothers. The liners are titanium. It is a thick titanium. Though, I mean, it's almost like a frame lock, really, if you look at it. Just gorgeous. I like how that, that floating backspacer looks. Just really well done, Victor. It is a flipper. Here's the flipper tab. Nice little jimping on it, perfect. Not too obtrusive. This is like the perfect flipper tab that I like. 
The blade steel is S35VN, and here's Victor's signature shape. Now, you know Edison and Victor, they, they like to, you know, make a little bit of a unique blade style. Uh, I personally like it. Um, so it's, I don't know, what would you say this blade shape is? It's like a Tonto shaped harpoon. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty unique. Again, the blade steel is S35VN. He put this very nice satin finish, which you know is Moi's favorite finish. Um, satin flats and just a satin grind. Just really, I mean, spectacular. This comes into play later in the description of the name. Um, what do you guys think? Pretty unique, huh? So it's, uh, yeah, it almost look, it is kind of like a, I, would, I wouldn't say Quaken. It's, it definitely has the influence of a Quaken. Quaken type knife. No jimping. I guess, uh, Victor, if you request it, he could put jimping on it. But this particular model, there's no jimping. He did put, the, he did put these grooves over here, so it makes for a nice purchase on the knife. And I guess this, if you really want to get in there to do some more finer cutting, that's what it's there for. But look at the thick stock of the blade. Right. Let's take a look at the lockup. Lockup is very nice, very early. So he does something similar to his brother. As you can see, most liner locks, most frame locks, you see the relief cut down here. And if you look inside, if you guys can see, there's a hole there, but you still really don't see the relief cut. And I believe what Victor said, the relief cut is actually on this side of the steel. So underneath the carbon fiber, so you can't see it. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was very thoughtful. Uh, let's see, what else? He did so many cool things that I thought was pretty cool. Um, it, is, it, this, it does have a ceramic detent ball. This is the cool part, I just remembered. So when you open it, let me unlock it. So Victor basically set the detent ball so it sits on the edge of the titanium. And I'll show you what that does. And you've seen this before with other knives and we'll do some comparisons. So the detent ball sit on the edge of the titanium so that basically once the detent ball is disengaged, there's no step. It locks up immediately. Do you follow? It just disengages. There's no second step. It just locks up, right? Let me see if I can illustrate that better. So who does that? Also, the Sebenza 25 does that. If you guys have seen my takedown video on this, this one has a rather large, and you might be able to see it here, uh, detent, ceramic detent ball that actually acts not only as the detent ball, but also it engages the blade tank so it locks up. And this too doesn't have a step and locks up. Brian the Doe does the same thing with his knives. Pretty, pretty, you know, I, I, like, I like the attention to detail that the, these people do. So, okay, so here's my Sebenza and Singo. And this one does have a step. This is an older model, as you guys may know. And you can hear, you can see it right there. So the detent ball disengages the steel. And there's the step, and then the lockup, right? Step, lockup. And you'll see on Victor's blade, same as the Sebenza 25, once the detent ball disengages, just locks up. I thought that was pretty cool. Because this, then, I like that how they address it, because there's less chance of wear on, on, on the titanium, right? because it just engages right away. Yeah, what else? What else I got? Yeah, pretty cool. Let's just do some quick macros on it while I think of things to talk about. Pretty much covered everything, I think. So again, the blade shape is like a Tonto Harpoon style, uh, available in all the finish, finishes. Uh, his, his books are open. 
if you want to get in on the ground up with a new a fairly new knife maker i met victor the first time actually the first time i met sharknico was last year in blade they're going to be in blade uh this year as well okay that's what i forgot to tell you guys so why does he call it a stone head so for my world travelers over there what do you guys think why do you think he calls it a stone head here's a hint here is a hint it looks like the stone heads in on easter island yeah right do you see it looks like that thing in um night at the museum with ben stiller remember the big stone head that liked the gum hey dum dum give me gum gum Give you a picture of it, I'll bring it up. Let's see. So here's a stone head, and here's a stone. Oh, Christmas and years. Here's a stone head from Easter Island. You can see the shape of the nose, right? The ear. It's very similar. Shape of the nose. The ear has a pocket clip. When when Victor, I asked Victor, I said, why'd you call it stone head when I didn't know why he called it stone head? I thought it was so interesting and then when he explained it, it's like god that makes so much sense so unique the way these uh barajas boys think you know very um very original so yeah so if you guys are interested i'll put the information below for uh vic and his um instagram channel and his email look how thick that stock of the steel is Look at the grinds, people. I hope, I hope a camera captures that because it makes stupid fingerprints. Let me get my fingerprints off it. <clears throat> it's just beautiful, beautiful satin. I mean, really flawless satin. All right, folks. So that's the Stonehead by Victor Barras, VI Knives, on Instagram. Check it out. Peace.